Okay, in this video, we are going to be going over the last of book four of the De Bello Gallico, which is chapters 34 and 35. Remember that Caesar has gone out to try and rescue a group of soldiers who have left from the camps to go harvesting. He then has been attacked, and we just got done describing the nature of fighting with the British charioteer. So, <clears throat> with, starting out with an ablative absolute, our guys, Caesar always refers to the Roman soldiers as our guys, having been disturbed by these things, uh, remember the quibus is just a linking qui, it could be easily replaced with hekai poke, which would be his, or it could be replaced with leila alud, which would be ilis, or it could be replaced with isa il, which would be eis. With our guys having been disturbed by these things, by the newness, novitas, novitatis, of the fight, Caesar brought help. Pharaoh, fairy, tulilatis, at, by way, because of from, in on at the most opportune time, right at the moment. For, by with because of from in on at the arrival of him. Remember that as comes from is a id, as 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 genitive, so is arrival or the arrival of him. At the arrival, by the arrival of him, the enemies constituerunt. They took up a position. In other words, they stopped advancing. They halted. And our guys recovered, received themselves from fear. His arrival gives the Romans hope. The soldiers are more confident with him there. Quo facto. Again, that's a linking week, just like with Quibus. So you can easily, again, replace it with a hoke, a illo, or I should say illo, and an echo, if you would like. So with this having been done, he, Caesar, now a perfect passive looking participle, arbitrar, arbitrari, so not having been verb, but having verbed, having judged that the accusative time, tempus here, is accusative because it is that third declension, nominative, and accusative, identical, tempus temporis, neuter. Having judged that the time was, essay occurs at the same time as arbitratus, was bad, not good, foreign, if you would like, alien, for the sake of provoking, if you make this a gerund, with proleum then being the direct object, provoking battle, and for the sake of commencing battle. But you can also understand it with odd, taking the accusative proleum as its object, and instead of lacessendum and comitendum being gerunds, they could be gerundives for the sake of the battle, about to be provoked and about to be commenced. So in other words, it's a bad time to actually fight it out. Instead, you need to recover and live to fight another day. He held, continuo, which of course is from teneo teneare, he held, perfect tense, himself, in his own location. He doesn't advance against the enemy. And with a short time, habit of absolute again, having been paused, intermitto, metere, misi, misus, so in other words, with a short pause, an intermission, if you would like, but with a short time, having been paused, he led the legions into the camps, and he led them back into the camps. And while these things, nominative, plural, neuter, he, high hike, would be, of course, the nominative of the demonstrative, are being done, are being waged, with all our guys having been occupied, our guys who were in the fields, the remaining guys departed, left, Cato, Ketere, Kesi, Kesus, to go away. If you would take off the D-I-S, Keserunt means just go, they went, they did go. Tempestates, storms, that's your nominative subject of your deponent verb. Sequor, sequi, sequi to sum. Storms followed duration of time and extent of space for several continuous days. Storms which both held, teneo teneo, we just saw it right up here, held an imperfect subjunctive, our guys in the camps, and prohibited the enemy from the fight. And so in this way, it is that storms are preventing a kind of final battle royale. And this, of course, is going to allow the enemies, the Brits, to take advantage of getting more help. And we see that here. Meanwhile, in Terry, the barbarians sent, did send Meno Mesimisus messengers into all parts. And they predicaverunt, they alerted, they told, they predicted, but not predict in our sense, but nevertheless revealed, perfect tense, the paucity, the smallness, 
of our soldiers, and they told this to their own guys. And they showed to their own guys, and this quanta is modifying facultas. Facultas is nominative. Facultas, facultatis. It is an ability, is what a faculty is. And here it is introducing an indirect question. Remember that indirect questions require a subjunctive verb, and that's exactly what we have with daretor. So they showed or predicted, told to their own guys, the paucity of our soldiers, and they showed to their own guys how much an opportunity, how much an ability of booty about to be made. All the stuff that the Romans have is good stuff. They got better pots and pans, they got better weapons, they got better all kinds of things. And they're trying to have this as an enticement to get other Britons on board. How much an opportunity? A booty about to be made, and how much an opportunity, how great an opportunity, of themselves about to be freed. Both of these are gerundives, modifying words that, of course, are in the genitive, an opportunity of something, of themselves about to be freed in perpetuum, in perpetuity, forever, if they had, through perfect subjunctive, expelled the Romans from the camps. And so they're saying, if we can get them out, then obviously we get all the good stuff, and obviously we don't have to deal with them ever again themselves about to be freed. With, out of absolute, a large multitude of infantry, genitive, and of cavalry, genitive fourth declension singular, with that large multitude having been compelled, colago colagare, coegi coactus, quickly by these things they came to the camps. And so obviously they get a big crew together and they show up outside Caesar's camps. We continue with the last chapter. Caesar. Etsy, even if, so Caesar is our main clause, even if he saw, so this is your first subordinate clause, that, and then this is the indirect statement. Now remember that fore is futurum esse, a future infinitive. And we translate the future infinitive with would, if your introductory verb is in the past, which we did about his. So, Caesar. Even if he saw that it would be, because that's what the verb means, to be, it would be the Edom. The same thing, quote, uh oh, a different color. Let's see if I cannot make that happen. Even if he saw that it would be the same thing which had happened on the previous days, so that they would, could, might escape the danger with speed if the enemy's pulse the asset had been beaten. Nevertheless, and now we are then main clause again. Having acquired nankiscor nankiski noctisum. Perfect passive looking participle. Again, nankiscor nankiski noctisum. Having acquired around 30 Cavalry, cavalry which Comius, the attribution, about whom it has been spoken before, he's letting you know, I talked about this guy a couple of chapters back, that cavalry which Comius had transported with himself, Caesar, having acquired that cavalry, around 30 of them, he took up a position, he positioned the legions in a battle line in front of the camps. With the battle, having been commenced, having been enacted, the enemies, that's your subject, were not able, have not been able to bear. This means to bring it to carry, but when you bring something, you bear it. Like you bring forth fruit, you bear fruit. The enemies were not able, have not been able, to bear the attack, the impetum, of our soldiers for a longer time, Ock and they turned their backs. They ran away. Now, whenever you see a tantus, make a quick look to see if you can see a quantus. And you have the same exact thing that you need to do. If you were to see a quote, look for 
a tote. And if you ever see a qualm, look for a tom and vice versa. See a tote, look for a quote. See a tom, look for a qualm. Because it's going to mean as much as, as many as, and as whatever as. So they, the subject here, meaning the Roman soldiers, having followed, sequor, sequi, sum. again a passive looking perfect participle, perfect passive looking, having followed them, a linky qui referring to the running away guys, so having followed them by, because it's an ablative of degree of difference, by as much a space, by as much a distance as they were able, they have been able, in their course, their route, and in their strengths, and having followed by such a distance as they were able to do, this is nothing more than facio facere fecti factus, remember that very often the A, or uh, whatever letter it is, when a prefix is put on it, turns into an I, this is called ablau, as mm, they were able to make in their course and their strengths they killed, meaning the Roman soldiers, they several out of them, the guys running away, the Britons. Then, Adapicis omnibus, with all buildings having been set on fire, in kendo, in kendere, in kendi, in kensus, longly and widely, latitude is width, they received themselves into the camps. And so they chased the Brits as far as they could with whatever strengths they had, and they're setting every building that they encounter on fire. On the same day, S-A-N with a D-E-M added means the same. On the same day, delegates, ambassadors, legates, having been sent by the enemies, they came to Caesar concerning peace. So it's exactly the same situation as we saw before in the battle when Caesar landed in the amphibious assault. Immediately when he whips them, they send ambassadors and negotiate it. But now Caesar probably is going to be even less kind with the terms because they have broken that previous negotiation following that very first battle. So this is all we read in Book 4 of the DBG. Good luck and study.